Do you know, maybe, maybe it's because I'm just getting over an illness. Maybe it's just because my hair never grew back after shaving off 20 years ago. Maybe it's just one of those days in work. Maybe I should have said yes to that girl when she asked me out a couple of years ago, but I, did, I said no because she was still living with her ex-boyfriend. Maybe all of those things <laughs> made me want to do an angry video today. Take it, I'm boiling. I was going to make an angry video about something which someone sent me said you should watch this and I watched it in work whilst working you know, on, in my, on the other monitor and I thought nah, ain't having that. But then Popple thankfully talked me down from it. Thank you Popple. But anyway I thought, by the way, Dan for World, Mr. Grey, Dan Dalf the Grey. I'm still a bit all up in there at the moment. I feel a lot better than I did over the weekend. I had the man flu. The man flu is a real, real uh, de de debilitation that only men experience. It was just cold, but still, it is debilitating. <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> now that I've calmed down, I thought I'd make a comments video because I haven't done one for a while. I'm gonna go through all the nice comments that you've all left for me. Going down to Mr. Grace to have myself a time. And we got it everywhere. I'm almost without Going down to Mr. Grace to leave my woes behind. Ghosts and cryptids everywhere. Even South Africa, ah! baby. Going down to Mr. Grace to see if I can unwind. <laughs> Come on down to Mr. Grace and meet some friends of mine. So, yes, it's been a while since I've gone through the comments. And I, I used to do these more often than I, I do now these days. But yeah, I've, be, I've been ill. I've been ill. I've been man-downed. And I'm, I'm aware I'm re extremely red right now. Red top. Red room. It's not a red room. It's just the way the light is. It's not a red light either. What do you mean I'm annoyed? <laughs> Qu a quick shout out to the Ouija Brothers, by the way, who are almost at 100,000 subs. And I think if you're not subbed to them, you should, because they are one of the more genuine people out there of all the bollocks and bullshit out there on the internet. They are the more genuine peop genuine channel. I'm not saying they find anything, but they are genuine about what they do. So go help them out. Give them a sub if you haven't already to get them to 100,000 uh, subs. And we, you know, they'd, I'm sure they'd be much appreciated. But anyway. So the first comment we're going to go to, first of all, is Mr. Paddy McLaughlin, my new favourite uh, fan. Almost 30 minutes before you got to it. Heart. Please stop welcoming the viewers and please stop waffling. It's so boring and off-putting. Paddy. Now, I haven't seen you comment on anything else of mine. You just commented on the discussing the Sam and Colby response to fans of the Conjuring House featuring Cody and Satori. Can't believe that's still going. But that was a live stream. Now, I, I, whenever I'm in a live stream, I like saying hello to my viewers. You know, the people who pop in, they take their time out of their day to come into my live stream. So, yes. I'm going to say hello to them. And yes, I do. I, I absolutely agree with you. I do waffle. Waffle a lot. But that's what a live stream is all about. It's unedited. It's live. It's raw. It's waffle. I like waffling. I like complaining. I like bitching about stuff. <laughs> Especially when I'm in the mood. Like today. But may maybe, maybe I'm just going to come up with... Maybe I'm just going to have like a Spotify audio podcast where I can just blurt out my thoughts of the day about anything... Complaining, bitching, interesting facts. Maybe I'm going to do that. Maybe I'm going to have my own Spotify podcast soon. Of just me waffling. Because I love it. <laughs> From Wisdom 1. They say, hey Mr. Grey, I hadn't subbed till now. Why not? I'm joking, Dory. Have you seen, I have seen you a bit here and there with Beard or that, but haven't forgotten around to watching your channel. I just finished watching the Amy's Crypt video when I noticed this video title. I was curious as I had seen you with Beard or before. I love your honesty and the way you rationalize. Look forward to much more of your content. Well, I appreciate it, uh, Wisdom. Yes, I made an Amy's Crypt uh, video. And I think people assumed I was going to shit on them because th that's what debunkers do. They, de they shit on channels. I'm trying, Purple. I'm trying. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> From Kaliana, I hope I'm, say, I'm saying your name right. Extra, extra Skinwalker Debunk Info. They commented on like a video I made a couple of months back. But I think it was tw Twin... Is it Twin Paranormal? It doesn't tell me all everything. The Navajo from Southwest US, Appalachia in the south, is in the southeast of the US. They're opposite sides of the country. Thousands of miles. They're from the Navajo, by the way. 
Uh, people outside the US often don't realize just how big the US is and how far apart things are. Well, this is it, uh, Kaliana. Thank you for the comment, by the way. Yes, um, this is something that, you know, you, you watch these people in these videos like, oh my God, I think we encountered a skinwalker. I nearly died tonight. But yeah, you find, you know, people are saying they're seeing skinwalkers everywhere they go. In the UK, even. Which is ridiculous. But it just shows the hilarity and the ridiculousness of those videos when they say, yeah, I, I saw a skinwalker. I heard a skinwalker. Snegglebletch. <laughs> I, love, I love that name, by the way. Um, these panel videos are so boring. I couldn't agree more. Which is why I've added things to them. Not added things to the videos, but I like panel and bingo. By the way, um, I will be posting those out to the winners of the paranormal bingo we had last Wednesday. Like I said, I've been ill. There's gonna be different rules for the next one because otherwise I'm gonna be sending like hundreds of them out every bloody game. I didn't think I'd path through, but I will get to that. But yes, uh, Snagglebash, I, I am getting really bored. Not, not bored of paranormal in general, but seeing the same shit over and over again. The same bollocks over and over again, which is why I've had to spruce things up to keep myself interested, which sort of goes on to why um, you haven't seen a video of, you know, a full-blown debunk from me for a long time now. I don't know if you've noticed, but I sort of pulled away from that. Not pulled away from debunking in general, but full-blown debunks, because people always ask me, have you debunked this? Have you debunked this channel? And I'm like, yes, yes. Yes, I've done that one. Yes, I've done that one. I've been around for a couple of years now doing the debunking videos. And, you know, there's obviously newer debunkers who are doing really well and this you know, really happy for them. And, you know, they're covering channels I've already covered. And I'll get, a, I'll get a comment. I'll get a comment on my video saying, so-and-so's already debunked this. I'm like, you're commenting on a video from four years ago, damn it. <laughs> Which is fine. It's funny. I find it funny. But at the same time, like, my, my God. I'm not annoyed, <laughs> I'm not annoyed. But I know, I know there's channels now who are, are surpassed me as subs and that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm more than happy for that to happen. I'm, I'm not annoyed at all of that. For years and years, no matter how, I've always said sub count doesn't matter. And no matter how higher my subs get, I still treat my channel like I got 400 subs. <laughs> And, you know, maybe that's not helping me in my own, like, sort of way of doing this full time. I understand that. But I can't even remember where I was going with this and what the comment was in the first place now. So, but yes. <laughs> Panel videos are indeed boring, which is why I make things different. I really need to calm down today. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think it's because I've been, it's because I've been ill. That's what it is. From Whispers of the Afterlife. Now... Whispers for the afterlife, they got a bit annoyed at me. And it's totally understandable, by the way, we'll get to that now. She's not with a debunk because she doesn't lie or fake. Now, they can't deny Amy's crypt video I made, right? Now, I, if you watch the video, I mean, I called it wealth. It was a breakdown analysis, so it wasn't clickbait. It was genuinely what I was doing. I was breaking down stuff and analysing them. Y you're right. I haven't seen anything in them worth debunking at all, but... It's, it was the apps I was more speaking on, which I, you know, I don't care who it is. The, the, I don't believe the app, in the apps at all. They, well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't believe. I'm not going to go into why. But, you know, there's channels I like using whatever phone app. It doesn't have just Ghost 2. There's other apps, Necrophonic, what have you. And they do it for a reason that I sort of understand. But at the same time, I don't know why. That's all that's going on. Right? You know, as far as Amy's Crypt themselves, I... I think they're fine. I think they're fine. I know some people are saying, oh, they're scammers because they're making money off their apps. I understand, yes, they are making money off their apps. But I, I think they sort of genuinely probably believe they work. I don't know. I don't know. But no, it wasn't a hit piece on them. I think some people thought I was just doing a hit piece on Amy's Crypt. It, it absolutely wasn't a hit piece. <clears throat> I was just giving my thoughts. Which I'll be giving thoughts on other channels pretty soon. But Whispers of the Afterlife, I think you said you didn't watch it, but you just saw the title, and it's understandable. Because you thought probably thought I was going to rip them to shreds. I didn't. You should watch the video. It's nothing like that at all. But I, I understand the uh, trepidation going into something like that. Uh, Stu commenting on the masking tutorial and the basic techniques of the Adobe Premiere. Why it's never... What did I say? I think it's called it... It's called why it's 
never a ghost i think that's what i called it it doesn't allow me to doesn't allow me to middle mouse click it anymore which is really annoying um you can do masking stuff i think you can do it on phones it i, I wouldn't even want to try something like that on phones to be honest with you. i would definitely be using a laptop or a pc there are there is editing software out on phones obviously like movie maker i Mo is iMovie still a thing I used to use that like about 15 years ago. <laughs> I thought about masking techniques and the special effects stuff. I mean, there's there's filters and apps out there which can create similar things. I don't know, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's something to look into. Rest in peace, Paranormal Ohio. Ohio. Uh, again, on the Amy's Crypt thing, it says, people need to watch the video before they open their trap and start complaining. I watched it and I thought it was a very fair video on them. I didn't once hear you say anything about them being fake. Guess it's too hard for people to actually watch before they turn into keyboard warriors. Yeah, you, you're allowed. I say this all the time, and this is including us. This is including us, you know, people who make debunking videos. We are all open to criticism. I say this all the time. You put your stuff out on the internet, you're allowed to be criticised. Same with us. And I think people just think debunkers in general are out to get them. They're really not. I mean, maybe some are. Who knows? You know, not everyone is out to get people. I think it's, it's th this little thing. I'm not going to get into it too much because it annoyed me when I watched it. But <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to Pavel. But when this, you know, this little debunkers against paranormal channels. You can't be, you know, friendly with them. It's, it's bullshit. The only people debunkers have a problem with is the f the fake ass bollocks videos, which plague the internet. And you know what, right? These channels are probably not fake, right? I'll just say that now. They're probably not bollocks. I haven't really watched half of them. Yet you'll see them in comments or live streams or something saying debunkers don't matter. They just think everything is fake. It's, it's bullshit. It's utter bloody bollocks is what it is. Debunking something is basically you're showing something to not be what they say it is. But just because you've done that, it doesn't mean they are fake. You can debunk a channel. I've, I've done it. I've debunked a debunker. I debunked Beardo. If you remember that, I debunked Beardo in Ouija Brothers video. I've debunked Ouija Brothers and Beardo. Did I say they were fake? No, I didn't. I just showed something what, that supposedly showed up on the mic. I said, no, well, actually, it's this. If you listen to it in various camera angles, that was a debunk. But did I say they were fake? No, I didn't. But you get some channels who just spout out utter shite. And the right, the, the people, right, if, they, if, if the panel channels out there who genuinely believe they are real, and you probably are, you should, you should be screaming and shouting from the rooftops about fake channels more than us. You should be shouting out more than us if you want to be taken credible. If you want some credibility with your channel, you should be shouting from the bloody highest mountain about fake channels. Don't, don't collude with them. Don't collab with them. If, if, if that's what you truly want to do, is be a paranormal investigator, you should be shouting more than debunkers about fake channels. Yet because someone might have criticized a video of yours, not debunked you, but just criticized it, or like said, oh, it could be that. You talk issue with it. <laughs> I'm not directing this at anyone, but it is annoying. And I can't even remember what the comment was. <laughs> I'm really worked up today. I do apologize. Like I said, it was going to be a different kind of video. And then Pablo, thankfully, thankfully, t t talked me out of it. But I'm still annoyed from it. I'm not going to get into it. From NS Auckland about the Ouija board video. By the way, by the bloody way, right? I'm, I was, this annoyed me the other day. I made a video about this bloody thing. Not not animal, the, the, the Ouija board. Uh, about two weeks ago, I think it was. Something like that. Now, I, I did my research on it. It's a video I've been wanting to make for a while. I did my research on it. I filmed a little intro to it, which I always enjoy doing. And I filmed like a little skit thing, right? And I spoke about the Ouija board in detail. And nobody pointed this out to me, by the way. A video popped up on my feed about the Ouija board. Oh, look, it's Mythos Paranormal. <laughs> I watched it. It was really good. And obviously, he says the same stuff, close to the same stuff. He actually goes into more detail in his video. But he made it like two weeks before me, or like three weeks before me. And what really infuriated me, annoyed with myself, by the way. I'm not annoyed with Mythos. He made the video before I did. But what really infuriated me, 
is I did a little skit about the blindfold thing in the Ouija board thing. Mythos did the exact same thing. And, <laughs> and then, so, and you know, if I kept shut, nobody would have known about it. But I posted about it. And you know, I posted on his channel, yeah, I don't know if he saw the comment. He did the video before me, but some, some bloody how, we both did the same little blindfold skit. So it just looked like I watched this video and ripped him off. I really, I genuinely did not. <laughs> I genuinely did not. I'm so annoyed with myself because I do, I do watch Mythos stuff. I can't, I can't watch everything of every channel all the time because I, you know, I, I have a day job, unfortunately, and I work a lot and I'm always busy. His video popped up after I made the bloody Ouija board video, and and then if you see Mythos's video and then watch mine, which I did like two weeks after him, it just looks like I bloody ripped his video off. But no, I didn't. It was a genuine thing which does happen. You know, you know, we all like. Um, Make similar videos from now and, now and then, and it was just one of those bloody things, which great minds think alike. Mythos. <laughs> it's just you thought of it first, you bastard. <laughs> Problem is, just because you use the board doesn't mean some big, crazy, overt, de demonic activity will spring out of the board. Also, it's not really the board; it's the intent and the spoken words you use to open up contact when using the board. It's you inviting them in. Demons aren't as stupid as, as people would like to believe. They are very intelligent and have d different personalities. They handle each case a bit differently. You may think you aren't doing any harm, but they can just lay dormant and covertly try to affect you over time. Maybe that's how I got this cold. I don't know. They may choose to sit back and so you will make videos and tell people there's nothing to it so more people will be foolish enough to open communication themselves or just generally have the guard down. They are, they are very old and wise. You will learn to give them the respect before it's all said and done. That. Oakland, I appreciate the comments, and I appreciate the concern, but this is the way I look at it, right? I, I'm i in the firm belief that the boards are bollocks, right? They're bollocks. You know, because, like, I know some people have had an... Ex I, I'm, I'm not going to go into it if you want. Watch the watch the, the video I ripped off Mythos. <laughs> watch the video uh, I did about the Ouija uh, board uh, a couple of weeks back to see what I think about the board, but no. It doesn't concern me because two reasons, right? There's two very big reasons why it doesn't concern me. I'm a skeptic. I'm an open skeptic. I don't believe the board is anything at all other than a piece of plastic or a piece of wood, whatever you buy it. If, if there is something to the board and something could happen from it, that would change my life more than you would know. That would change my perception of the universe. But that would change my entire mindset of how I've grown up, how I live the rest of my life. So I can only see positives. Yes, you know, if it if it does turn out that it's real, and you know something happens and it's maybe a negative, but in my mind that would be a positive because that would completely change my entire life, my entire mindset, my perception of reality and the universe. So I can only see good things about those two little um, little. Outcomes. First outcome, there's nothing to it. The board is complete bollocks. Second outcome, there is something to it. That would change my life. So that's that. There's two positives to that, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, but I I do appreciate the concern. You know, like people have used them and maybe they've experienced something. But there's also been a lot of people who've used them and nothing has happened. And you can't equate uh, bad luck to anything to do with that board. You know, bad luck happens. It's just if you do a board, we your board and talk about now, and then getting a car crash two weeks later. It's just bad luck, as far as I'm concerned. Now this next comment from John Wilkes, I've already answered him back in the comments, but I do want to address this because, you know, it's something which does pop up from time to time. It's so funny how you pick and choose what videos you think you can debunk. There's plenty out there that you won't touch. I'm sorry that you don't believe, but I have seen it with my own eyes. Sorry you don't believe. I know there is nothing I can tell you that won't change your mind, but just to, just try to be in someone else's shoes when it happens to them. Of course you won't ever believe that, unfortunately. Look, just please give it a chance, because I have seen it and I did not want to believe it either. Uh, I can't back John. I've been making debunking videos for years. I don't think it's a clip or method I haven't seen a thousand times over, which is why I skipped some. If you have anything you think I've skipped over, I am open to suggestions. And he did, you know, comment back saying thank you and all that, and I appreciate it. But this goes back to, like, the reason I don't make full-blown debunking videos again. I don't pick and choose. I really don't. So, like I said, I've been making these kind of videos for years now, and... They do get stale. They absolutely get stale. When you see the same bloody TikTok bollocks over and over again, you see the same masking over and over, you see the same string pulls, 
the same people screaming and shouting dude bro all the bloody time it gets it gets boring it gets extremely boring i pretty much when i see the same videos over and over again i'm like right, i'm done with that i'm done with that which is why i you know i've spruced things up again with the, the paranormal bingo wallocks and you know the, the the wheel of creepy things this ties into the same reason why i don't make big long debunking videos anymore i've already made them i've already made them I, I i say this all the time and i think sometimes it probably comes across as me dissing other channels it really doesn't other channels make video after video after video about the same channel over and over again you know look at this look at this debunk, uh, debunk this debunk this debunk that which is fine like i said i am not having a go at that but i have always the, the way i've always done my channel and maybe this goes against me, is if I debunk the channel once, twice, maybe, maybe at the push three times because I want to show something, I don't bother going back to it. I don't see the point in going back to it because my thing I always say, if I show you what a banana looks like, why would I continue to show what that banana looks like over and over again? It's just the way I, it's just the way I run my channel. Like I said, I know that goes against me for, you know, building my channel, getting them views up. And, you know, everyone wants views and subs. Everyone does. I, whoever says they don't, they, they, you know, maybe they think they don't, but they actually do. <laughs> everyone wants people to watch their videos. I get that. My perspective, I could easily make 20 videos every month about the same channels over and over. And it would get me the views and the subs and the comments. I totally understand that and I do understand why people do that but for me I don't want to be shouting into the void all the bloody time repeating myself because I repeat myself enough as it is I don't want to repeat content I don't want to repeat things I like to keep my stuff original try and bring new things I know is, is still within the paranormal realms and this is why I make those like breakdown analysis videos and stuff like that because I do enjoy those even though they're sort of like more reactionary uh, stuff I enjoy them because they make me laugh. They make me, uh, they make me bloody belly laugh sometimes. Or they make me a noise. The reason, I mean, I don't pick and choose, but I do skip a lot because I've seen them a thousand times over, and I don't like repeating myself. That's it. And like I said, that is not a diss to any channel who does make continuous videos of the same thing. I understand why they do it. It's just not for me. That's all it. That's all it is. And. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that. I don't know. I don't know what else to say to it. I don't, you, you, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. This one's going to be the last comment now, but I tried to find it in the video. They must have deleted it because I, I posted about it, but I'm going to cover it anyway. From user YW9PV4RT1M. They commented on the uh, the shocking truth. How much does paranormal tour tourism really pay? And this is when I went over the, um, the, the, the amount these haunted buildings and places charge... For a panel investigators to go there, it's too much, right? I'm not going to get into it. Watch the video. But they say, you are a piece of crap. Just run in your mouth. You are evil and jealous. Because who cares what people might make for money? And no one is going to say, oh, you are right. Because you are not. And very evil. So there you go. I'm evil. I mean, gingers are evil anyway. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I'm not running my mouth, user YW9. I'm spouting facts. Which is what I always do. But anyway, it's stuff like that makes me laugh so hard. It's like they cannot fathom someone questioning their their little tiny little reality in their little corner of the universe. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave something new to my channel. I do this quite often. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.